San Pedro, officially the city of San Pedro, Tagalog, Lungsod ng San Pedro, or simply San Pedro City, is a first-class city in the province of Laguna, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 325,809 people. It is named after its patron saint, Peter the Apostle, despite being the third smallest in the entire province, with a total land surface area of only 24.05 square kilometers. San Pedro is the fourth largest city in terms of population after the cities of Calamba, Biñan, and Santa Rosa. The city also has the highest population density in the province of Laguna and in the whole Calabarzon region, having 14,000 people per square kilometer. San Pedro City Ide is 18th member of Metro Manila. Former Metro Manila Development Authority MMDA, Chairman Francis Tolentino is pushing for the inclusion of San Pedro City in the National Capital Region, and eventually become its 18th member city. Tolentino said that in the first meeting of the MMDA Council of Mayors in January 2015, he will push for the inclusion of the city to the MMDA. Senator Aquilino. Coco. Pimentel III is seeking the separation of the city of San Pedro from the first legislative district of Laguna Province to constitute a lone congressional district. In 2015, Pimentel filed Senate Bill No. 3029 for the creation of the San Pedro City as a separate district to commence in the next national and local elections. History San Pedro de Tunisan became a town on January 18, 1725, when King Charles II of Spain decreed that the town formerly known as Tabuco be a separate town from Cabala now known as the city of Cabuyao, by virtue of the last will of Philip V of Spain, Rodriguez de Figueroa or Don Esteban, a group of Augustinian fathers gained the ownership of the Tunisan estate. Later on, San Pedro became an hacienda of Colegio de San Jose, a group of Jesuits friars who took over the property which now is known as San Pedro Tunisan. Tunisan literally means a place where there is Tunis. Nymphaea nochali, a medicinal plant abundant on shoreline area, during that period, agriculture, fishing, duck raising, fruit trees, and sampaguita were the main source of income of its residents. This period was highlighted by the growing tenant-landlord dispute. The tenants of Hacienda San Pedro Tunisan fought for their birthrights over their ancestral lands. This struggle took almost 423 years of unsuccessful resistance to Colegio de San Jose, and in 1938, the government bought the home sites of the San Pedro Tunisan Hacienda from the Colegio for resale to its tenants. This event laid to rest the tenants' landlord problem in the town. In the year 1902, the name San Pedro de Tunisan was simplified to San Pedro. From the Spanish time until after the Japanese occupation of the Philippines, the scenario did change a bit, when on August 30, 1954, beginning to the Philippine Commonwealth forces against the Japanese, President Ramon Magsaysay signed at the historic town plaza the Land Tenancy Act. By virtue of this law, farm lots of the hacienda were bought by the Philippine government to be sold at cost to the tenants or occupants of the farm lots in Bayan Bayanon under the Nara Settlement Project of the Magsaysay Administration. Cityhood On March 27, 2013, President Benigno Aquino signed the 64-page Republic Act No. 10420 converting the municipality into a new component city of the province of Laguna. The cityhood of San Pedro was ratified through a plebiscite scheduled by the Commission on Elections Comelec. The date for the ratification is December 28, 2013 after the national barangay elections. It became the sixth city of Laguna after the cities of Biñan, Cabuyao, Calamba, San Pablo and Santa Rosa, and also the third to be a city in the first congressional district of Laguna, making it the first city district in the province. Comelec officially proclaimed the first-class municipality of San Pedro as a component city of Laguna on December 29, 2013. Juanito Icaro, Regional Director of Calabarzon and Mimaropa, and Marianne Murfori, Provincial Election Supervisor, made the proclamation at the Municipal Hall after San Pedro residents voted for the cityhood in a plebiscite held on December 28, 2013. Yes. 
Votes for cityhood totaled 16,996, which is an additional 50 votes added in some precincts mostly in the San Vicente area to win the yes vote, and no votes, only 869, in 501 clustered precincts in San Pedro. Only 11% of 165,777 registered voters in San Pedro's 20 barangays took part in the plebiscite. Support groups from the local government and non-government organizations are striving to incorporate San Pedro into Metro Manila. Geography San Pedro is located in Region 4A or Calabarzon. San Pedro is the boundary between Laguna and Metro Manila, so San Pedro is known as Laguna's Gateway to Metro Manila. San Pedro shares boundaries with Metro Manila's southernmost city, Muntinlupa, north, bounded with Tunisan River, Binyan, east, Carmona and Gen. Mariano Alvarez, southeast, bound with San Isidro River. Its position makes San Pedro a popular suburban residential community, where many residents commute daily to Metro Manila for work. Barangays San Pedro is politically subdivided into 27 barangays. For G. San Antonio is the largest barangay, which has a total of 780 hectares, while for G. San Vicente is the most populous with a total population of 92,092. 1234567-7 new barangays created as separate and distinct from its mother for G. San Vicente after it was ratified and approved through a plebiscite held on July 11, 2015 under Comelec Resolution No. 9969. Climate Demographics The city of San Pedro is the 37th most populous city and youngest city in the Philippines. As of 2015, the population is 325,809, up from 294,310 in 2010, or an increase of almost 11%. Its area is 24.05 square kilometers, 9.29 square miles, with a density of 13,547 per square kilometers, 35,087 per square miles. Religion San Pedro is home for the famous cross ng San Pedro Tunisan. Majority of the people are Roman Catholics. Other religious groups include are the Members Church of God International MCGI, Jesus Miracle Crusade International Ministry JMCIM, United Church of Christ in the Philippines UCCP, Jesus is Lord Church Jill, Jesus Christ the Lifegiver Ministries JCLM, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Inc., the United Methodist Church, Presbyterian Churches, Christian Bible Baptist Church, other Baptist and Bible Fundamental Churches. Islam is also practiced within the community. There are 15 Catholic parishes in the city, and one mosque. Economy The largest barangay with industry, manufacturing, supermarkets, and stores in San Pedro is San Antonio. This barangay has the largest area in San Pedro. The city center and city proper or Poblacion, San Pedro, is where most inhabitants go to buy their goods. San Pedro also has a large number of factories surrounding it. Most of the factories are located at Magsaysay Road in San Antonio. Agriculture Agricultural lands now account for only 13 hectares of the total land area due to residential, commercial and industrial conversions. There are lands with slope ranging from 8% to 15% of the total land area located in parts of Barangay San Antonio and San Vicente planted with mangoes and sinaguelas trees. Livestock and poultry businesses operate in the area. Commerce and industry There are 4,705 total business establishments, 40 commercial, savings and rural banks, 117 restaurant, cafeteria, and other refreshment parlor, and two public and five private markets and supermarkets. There are 40 banks, 62 pawnshops, 36 lending institutions and 11 insurance companies operating in the city. Commercial and business establishments are mostly located at Pasita Complex and Rosario Complex. 
A large percentage of industrial and manufacturing establishments of San Pedro is located on the adjacent barangays of San Vicente and San Antonio. E&E &E Industrial Complex is located in San Antonio where some of the city's factories are situated. Tourism San Pedro has a 20 km tourism belt which caters to tourists of the city. Sampaguita Festival The annual city festival is celebrated in the second week of February. This weeklong festival includes various activities ranging from cultural to sports, trade fairs, amateur singing contests, parades, historical exhibits, social and religious gatherings, tribal dances, street dances, cheering and sport exhibitions. The highlight of the festival is the coronation night of the Kias ng San Pedro. The festival aims to promote tourism in San Pedro and to revitalize Sampaguita industry in the community. The celebration was formerly known as Manic Ni San Pedro Festival, which started in 1999 and was renamed to Sampaguita Festival in 2002. The celebration kicked off with a grand parade. San Pedro City holds the record of laying the longest Sampaguita flower late line, spanning 3.6 kilometers 2 miles, from Binyan City San Pedro City boundary to San Pedro City Muntinlupa City boundary on the National Highway. This was listed in the Guinness World Records in 2009. Christmas Festival Pascuan Sa San Pedro is an annually celebrated festival in San Pedro City. It starts at the beginning of December and runs to the end of the month. The opening is a grand parade which is participated in by public and private schools in the city, local government and other socio-civic organizations. The main event of the opening is the lighting of the whole plaza, fireworks display, and various school performances. Every night a variety of shows are performed by the participants, which last up to midnight. On 29 December of every year the cityhood anniversary of San Pedro is celebrated. Infrastructure transportation public transport buses with lines from Metro Manila serve the city. Grab taxi service is available in the city. UV Express and FX with lines from Metro Manila and provinces provide service in the city. Jeepneys provide service between the city and nearby areas and the city's barangays. Tricycles and pedicabs serves the barangays and subdivisions, gated communities. Road network. Major roads Manila South Road, Old National Highway South Luzon Expressway, Southbound Exit South Luzon Expressway, Northbound Exit, Construction Exagawa in Groundbreaking Ceremony in Slex San Pedro Northbound Exit See Mayor Lord's Cataquiz Kasama C. Kong Arlene Arcias, Governor Remil Hernandez at Ang DPWH Region 4A Director Samson Hebra a Mabina Street. Inner Roads. Pasita Avenue, Pasita Complex, F. Balagtas Street, Chrysanthemum Village, Rosario Avenue, Rosario Complex. This road serves as main road from Pasita Complex to Southwoods City in Binan City, Laguna. San Vicente Road, San Pedro Bayan, Calendola Village, R. Magsaysay Avenue, Calendola Village to Brigi. Langham, this road serves as main road from San Pedro Bayan to Brigi. Langham Shortcut road from Pasita Complex to Elvinda Village, this road eliminates traffic congestion at Manila South Road in preparation for the opening of Robinson's Galleria South. It will reduce your travel time from Pasita Complex to San Pedro Highway in Bayan. It serves as an alternate route aside from Manila South Road. Road begins at Pasita Avenue intersection, Pasita 1 area, 3rd Street, Sta Elena Street, going to Casa del Nino Science HS to Famadala Avenue to Pasita 2 area, Orange Drive to Lavender Lane to Elvinda Village area, Magnolia Street. To Escarlata Street to Champaca Street, road ends at Chrismore Avenue. Intersection. Railway. Philippine National Railway Metro Commuter Line serves the city with two railroad stations San Pedro Station Pasita MG Station Health care Throughout the city, health care is primarily provided at the Barangay Health Centers in every barangay. Also, several medical missions are operated and provided by local and international organizations. The major hospitals in the city are 
Jose L. Amante Emergency Hospital, Brgy. Sto, Nino Gavino Alvarez Lying In Center, Brgy. Nara San Pedro Doctors Hospital, Manila South Road Landayan Divine Mercy Hospital, Guevara Subd Westlake Medical Center, Manila South Road Pasita Complex Evangelista Medical Specialty Hospital, Macaria Avenue Pasita Complex Family Care Hospital, Macaria Avenue Pasita Complex Housing Most people in San Pedro live in over 59 subdivisions, that are either gated communities or open residential areas. The city is also a location of several government-led relocation projects. Squatters, or informal settlers, are scattered over the city. Education the Department of Education Region 4A, Division of San Pedro supervises the operation of over 12 public elementary schools and 7 public high schools and provides permits to over 35 private schools, including Catholic schools. Private schools are scattered throughout the city, especially on the subdivisions. With the implementation of the K-12 program, some private schools added senior high schools, and many public high schools still have limited facilities for the senior high school. Tertiary education and technical education are provided by several institutions scattered on the city. The Laguna Northwestern College has two campuses in San Pedro, one being a branch on Pasita Complex. Polytechnic University of the Philippines has one campus in the city. San Pedro College of Business Administration in Barangay Nueva provides courses related to business administration, and provides City Seal the City of San Pedro logo represents San Pedro's identity, a gateway city. Being the first city of Laguna from Metro Manila, San Pedro is gateway to the province and likewise to the Calabarzon region, the country's premier growth area. Being a pilgrimage tourism destination on account of the miraculous Lolo Yuweng Shrine, San Pedro is a place for holiness and religious devotion that can lead the Christian believer to eternal life in God's kingdom, thus, it is gateway to heaven. San Pedro is named after Saint Peter to whom Christ entrusted the keys to the gates of heaven. Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Shapes and colors Circles have no beginning nor end. They protect, they endure, they restrict. They confine what's within and keep things out. They offer safety and connection. They suggest community, integrity, and perfection. White is color at its most complete and pure, the color of perfection. It means purity, innocence, wholeness and completion. White is the base color of the logo. The red circle suggests excitement, energy, passion, love, desire, speed, strength, power, thus contributing to the success of all things intense and passionate. The black circle suggests power, sophistication, formality, and elegance. The green circle suggests balance, growth and self-reliance. Gold is the color of success, achievement and triumph. It is also associated with abundance and prosperity, luxury and quality, prestige and sophistication, value and elegance. Its color psychology implies affluence, material wealth and extravagance. Blue stands for peace, tranquility, calm, stability, harmony, unity, trust, truth, confidence, conservatism, security, cleanliness, order, loyalty, sky, water, and technology. It is the color of trust and peace. It can suggest loyalty and integrity. San Pedro Arch This is the main element of the logo. It signifies a period of transition, a passage from where one moves to another place. Transition signifies change, and the arch represents the passageways or doorways of that process of change. The change can be internal, where something, like character, values, vision or perspective within a person or the community could be changing. The change could be external, which is change in the outer aspect of life, like physical appearance. 
or the process can be happening on both levels. An arch symbolizes a gate or a doorway. An arch is a gateway, a door to something beyond it. A passageway to something more to follow. Roosters These represent the incident where Peter denied Jesus, followed by the crowing of the roosters. The Christian world calls this the incident of repentance. For the crowing of the rooster was followed by St. Peter's bitter cry and plea for forgiveness. Today, the rooster would signify the repentance of the saint and religious vigilance as well as resurrection. To this day the rooster seen on a weather vane is steeped in symbolic meanings that deal with watchful vigilance against evil, as weather vanes are commonly seen atop churches. The ancient Greeks believed the rooster rose to attention every morning and salutes the sun with a hearty cry, symbolizing victory overnight. As such, the rooster was considered a solar emblem to the Greeks, and was adopted as a sacred sign to the god Apollo as well as Zeus, Persephone and Attis. The rooster is also one of the twelve signs of the Chinese zodiac symbolizing honesty, as well as physical and moral fortitude. It also symbolizes fortune, luck, fidelity and protection. In Japan, roosters are permitted to run free amongst the Shinto temples. This is partially due to the rooster calling Shinto followers to prayer with its morning crow at dawn. To many people, the rooster may be a symbol of a call to action. It awakens people to a new day to do great things for themselves and their fellowmen. Keys The keys symbolize the power to enter the kingdom of heaven, and St. Peter holding the keys tightly means he holds the most important thing that leads to heaven, that is knowledge of God. The gold ancient keys in the arch also represent greatness and power, among others. Keys open doors. It symbolizes our never-ending quest for opportunities that will contribute to our city's growth and progress. Sampaguita Garland This symbolizes San Pedro's distinction as the Sampaguita capital of the Philippines. Some would question this title due to the absence now of a tangible heritage, which are the vast tracts of Sampaguita farms that gave rise to the Sampaguita industry in San Pedro during the olden times. But the claim to this title is justified by the fact that the city still owns the intangible heritage of having the most skillful and most creative makers of Sampaguita products in the country. Moreover, the Sampaguita festival which is being celebrated annually by San Pedro is the only festival in the country which gives honor and recognition to the national flower. The 20 Sampaguita buds forming a lay represent the 20 barangays of San Pedro. It also symbolizes unity and harmony among the city constituents. The number of buds may be increased through time should new barangays are created in the future. Sun this star is our logo's connection to the Philippine national flag. Its eight rays symbolize the eight provinces, including Laguna, which first revolted against Spanish colonization during the 19th century. Our ancestors have long considered the sun as the center of humankind's existence. It symbolizes life, power, strength, energy, force and clarity. In Christianity the sun is the house of Archangel Michael, Gabriel lives within the moon, and is also a symbol of the Christ, or Christ-like attributes. In ancient Egypt the sun is associated with the Horus, Ra and Osiris. Horus represents the rising sun, Osiris the setting sun, and Ra, the sun's zenith. The sun as symbol of eyes or vision is the eye of the sun which is the eye of Zeus in Greek mythology. Words and date City of San Pedro identifies the owner of the logo. Laguna suggests that San Pedro is a component city of the province of Laguna. Philippines is the country where our city is located, the inclusion of which will help distinguish our city from all other existing or future cities with similar name in other countries around the world. 2013 is the year when the city of San Pedro acquired its corporate existence as a component city of Laguna. Note, approved by the Songguniang Panlungsod on February 17, 2014 under Resolution 2014-26 and City Ordinance 2014-10. Notable people Kakai Bautista, comedian Rico Blanco, singer, former vocalist of River Maya 
Salvador Laurel, 8th Vice President of the Philippines, 5th Prime Minister of the Philippines Julia Clarit, TV host, actress John Lloyd Cruz, actor, model Ogie Diaz, comedian, columnist and TV host Pa Diaz, actress Marlan Flores, actress Christine Hermosa, actress Jan Manuel, actor Rocco Nacino, actor Jamila Abispo, actress Stephanie Rituya, contestant and runner-up in Asia's Next Top Model, Cycle 1 Gladys Reyes, actress Christopher Roxas, actor Princess Snell, actress Nikki Valdez, actress Desiree Bertadero, Miss Universe 1984 third runner-up Tony Calvento, print, broadcast journalist for the Calvento Files Jennifer Hammond, Miss Intercontinental 2016 References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System